Hi, I'm Derek. And you fucked up. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll all right. Start all right. Week. Okay. Start again. Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Derek. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday, girl. That That's too much. How you doing? It's Monday. If I watched a video like that, I would turn it off. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll try this again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Derek. Welcome to Men of the Den. It's Monday, girl. Okay. Hi, I'm Greg. And I'm Derek. This is Men of the Den, and this is Monday. There you go. Uh -huh. Good enough. Done. Girl. Are we recording? It's recording. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hi. This week on the Men of the Den, we are doing... <laughs> okay, I was being sultry there for uh, a while. I was like... And you started Stop it! <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll, I'll sit still. I'll sit still. All right, are we good? Do we look good? Because I don't have my glasses okay, on. Okay, hold on. I'm not putting my glasses on. Well, we gotta both have them. We can't. We, one of us is gonna be able to see the camera. You know I hate my glasses. I think you look good in glasses. I just think it's okay. Creeper. Hold <laughs> on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Seriousness. All right. This week on The Den, oh. we're just... <laughs> oh, sorry. I was making a funny face <laughs> of the camera. <laughs> All right. Take three. <laughs> So Daniel asks, would you bang, kill, or marry Microsoft, <laughs> Sony, or Nintendo? All right, so that's an easy one. This is easy. I'd marry Nintendo. We've been through a lot. We've had some downtimes. I've forgiven you for Virtual Boy. <laughs> I've forgiven you for the, the selection of games in the Wii. And I embraced you when you came back with some better titles for the Wii U. All in all, I've stuck with you, Nintendo. So yes, I would marry Nintendo. Um, I'd bang Sony. I would so bang Sony. There has been some of my favorite titles have come from that, and it's given me some of the greatest moments of video gaming. Now, I'm only going to say kill Microsoft only because it's... I, I have no problems with Microsoft. The games... It's pretty much the game, same games that you get, you get with Sony. We have an Xbox itself. So love the system. Not going to... It's just because it's just bottom. The, it's just... That's the only option that's left. I think I have to agree with Derek on the choices. Nintendo is definitely the one I would marry. Because Nintendo's the one that's been there my whole life. No matter how many times I fall off the wagon with Nintendo, I do eventually come back to it for the titles. Mm -hmm. Sony, they come out with the occasional great title that I really like. Mm -hmm. So, you know, those one-time hits are great. Um, again, I, I don't really have a lot against Microsoft, but out of those three, I'd have to kill Microsoft. All right, so our last set of questions do come from a gentleman named Boston. Um, what he asked, uh, first, his first question is... How has growing up in a small town shaped your gay identity? Okay, that's a very good question. It's very tough. Yeah, it, it's a tough one. But it definitely did affect my gay identity. Um, my family was very much oriented that uh, people's perceptions were very important. And they kind of instilled that on me. I felt like growing up that I had to be that straight role model, you know, with the kids, the perfect family. It wasn't until later in life, after I moved out of the small town, and I actually felt comfortable enough that it, to realize that I was able to come out and do my thing. So it definitely did affect me in that way and did shape my gay identity. What about you, Derek? That's a tough one because it really hindered my coming out. Um, Yarmouth is a pretty tough town. I'm not gonna not gonna throw any bones about that. Um, I had a hard time fitting in as it was. I knew I was different. I refused to accept the fact that I was gay to the point I did bully out. I did bully out people who people thought were gay in high school. And do you know what? I feel fucking horrible about it. And just creating that self doubt for myself, creating that this is the atmosphere of everyone around me. It's really had a hard had a hard time from coming out like. Even my university years when I was in Fredericton, which is still pretty much a small city, a lot of my friends are gay. I just still couldn't do it to myself because it was just how I grew up and the perception of being gay was just so horrible. And it just, it did, it's the reason why it, did, it took so long to come out. And it's just something that's really shaped who I am. It's made me a stronger person. The self-confidence is coming and it's, it's getting stronger there. And it's really shaped who I am and who I'm about to become. <laughs> so our last question comes from Boston. Um, he asked, 
Why are you two so freaking adorable? <laughs> <laughs> I think that me and Derek fit very well together because we have our similarities, but we also have our differences, which is great because our differences meld so very well together. I like to say I'm a little bit, he's a little bit country. I'm a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's actually a pretty good explanation. All right, and we always work out our differences too. If there's any time there's an argument, it's never throwing plates at each other or throwing the glass of bourbon at the at the fireplace afterwards. It's always we talk it out, we talk man to man, and it's like something like a meme I saw. It was like so an older generation. How do you make this relationship work? We if it's broken, we fix. If it's broken, we fix it. We don't throw it away. Mm-hmm. All right. Ha 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 ha!